In today's exploration, we will enter the walls of a former children's asylum. This facility was known as a training school, catered to children six months old to 18 years old, suffering from mental disability. This hospital originally opened in 1860 called the School for Imbeciles. Its name later changed in 1915 to a training school. What this did was try to train mentally disabled children to fit in with today's world. Numbers peaked during the Great Depression and World War II. Over 1,600 patients to 850 nurses was the hospital's peak. Overcrowding and mistreatment was very common throughout this hospital's lifespan. During the 1990s, more than 10 lawsuits were filed against the hospital for mistreatment and violent acts against their patients. I will now be quoting a photographer who visited the asylum via the Department of Justice. Some showed as many as 20 adults in diapers lying together on one vinyl covered mat. Some showed twisted legs and arms due to lack of physical therapy. Others showed people shackled to wooden chairs with leg, arm, and waist restraints. Some stared into space endlessly. Some slumped over on their sleep. Others slept on the floor. Photographs showed gang showers and rows of toilets with no partitions. One photo showed a little child sleeping under a stainless steel bathing slab, the same kind usually found in funeral homes. This caused the hospital to shut down along with advancement in medication. Now, for almost three decades, this hospital has been sitting, decaying with most of its former barbaric devices left behind. We will be exploring as much as we can in today's video. If you guys enjoy, leave a thumbs up and let's go explore. This is the first room we're in here. Got a bunch of files all over the floor to start off. Everything left. Like a kid's seesaw. Got all these textbooks for psychology, medication, just different textbooks all over the floor here. Here we have like a little day room, activity room. Patients would get a little bit of light, open the windows, get some fresh air in here. This is one thing I love about old hospitals. They always have these hallways, a lot of natural light coming in too. Got some sort of machinery stacked up. Brower Electronics Laboratory. Don't, not sure what this is. But there's a lot of them. Wow. Got massive surgical lights. Also have what looks to be a tape recorder. I'm only guessing without even reading anything. Yeah, record button right there. So this is record interviews of patients. And this looks like it would probably fit a child. Restrain them pretty well. Okay, these look like the showers. This 
small, confined. And this looks like where the patients would wait to just sit on here, wait their turn to get in the shower. These dressers here still have socks in them, folded up and everything. I think it's wild that they're even still here. over here in the last room and I'm thinking the patients may have their bed set up over here at least ones that could be social with others in the room and these dressers here would be assigned to each patient sitting at the end of their bed would be this dresser put their little bit of their belongings inside of and uh, what I noticed here is that one patient left his mark here forever because they never removed his name tag from the bed he was assigned to This room has an incredible amount of files. I've never seen this much. It's up to my neck in this enormous room, just everywhere. There's a lot to this building. Wow, this room is completely taken back by nature. The natural decay has completely taken over this cabinet. Just nearly 30 years of decay right here. An old wheelchair. Huh. Wow. It's a restraint. Really old one, completely made of wood. Would you look at that? Got Velcro. I can't even the reasons why someone would be strapped into something like this. Just simple disobeying for mistreatment. You can imagine all the children that had to sit in the seat. All the petty reasons that could be fixed probably quite easily. That's a good thing with progression and time. Find different ways of treating different things. Anyway, we're going to keep going down this handicap ramp. Let's see what else this place has. What kind of machines we have in here? All kinds. I don't even know. They look like electro shock kind of things. I'm not sure. There's bolts and stuff. Wow. 
Yeah, let's take a look at this. A decade scaler. High voltage, yeah, I mean... It would count. It would look at electricity. Got a bunch of stuff all over here, I mean... Got a whole lot of equipment still here. Outdated, of course, but I mean... I'm sure this served a lot of purpose throughout the decades. All these files have the graphs in them. It's filled with them. So this would be heart rate? What would this be exactly? My friend said the shock ones are on the back of that one. Got this machine right here. A few other ones. I mean, these control watts, different electronics. So, we were told this is electroshock therapy, but it honestly could be anything. Right here, I have recognized what this is from other hospitals. Patients would be in here, if they want a nurse, they'd press it, start talking, and it would relay to the nurse's station. So if somebody needed help, because obviously they couldn't leave their rooms, a nurse would come and uh, help, their with whatever, help them with whatever problem they have. Yeah, some of these rooms, you won't even know what's in them, just because I guess when they were closing the place, they scrambled and just threw a bunch of stuff in different rooms. Ooh, looky here. So this is a blood slide. Blood slide uh, bin. You can see some blank slides in there. This must have been the library here. Got a bunch of desks yeah. piled up over here. Check this out. Let's see. Okay. So this room is really trashed, but it does have three pianos hidden underneath all this garbage. One, two, and they got a black one back there. This room has a whole lot of vinyls just laying around. Got some folk music. I guess this is either what the staff would listen to or patients, probably both. Got a trophy from 1986. Wow, so this is either a lounge room for the patients or the doctors, nurses. But definitely a chill room. Well, Chris and myself just found ourselves in some 1970 throwback room. Got a really cool green retro couch. Some wallpaper. We got some vintage, uh, vintage vacuums over here.
So it looks like this was the game room. Definitely keep some patients occupied. And here we have some, I'm guessing, doctor's offices. Just from the setup here. You could just imagine a patient sitting in that chair, speaking to a doctor right here, writing whatever he's finding on this patient, just writing it down, putting it in his inside of his desk. Wow, so that's a computer right there. It's really big. At this point of the exploration, we head into the basement and see what kind of dark secrets are lying down there. Got a Mickey Mouse mural. What's left of it? Not much. And underneath it is another restraint. This one looks very unique. Looks like you would tie a child down onto this foam and wooden seat, and I'd grab that the wood like handlebars, you tie them in, just wheel them around. Crazy. Looks like Peter Pan, maybe. This room is very strange, though. Got some beds. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got some beds. Creepy. Got some more seated restraints here. You could see where you could see where the feet would be put in. They'd sit on it. Just get wheeled around. I mean, this is inhumane. It's amazing seeing the things that are left inside these facilities because they're so ridiculous that you would probably expect to see them in museums just displaying how barbaric things were barely three decades ago. It's pretty intense. Okay, so apparently this place was good for something because right now we're, I think, walking up to the Asylum's bowling alley. This is pretty cool. A pin machine. Another restraint. This one looks a little weird. I mean, a lot of them you were able just to put the kids on there and roll it around, but this one's in a very weird shape. Not quite sure how you'd restrain someone to that. Here's an ad back from 1993, the year the place closed down. 14th annual benefit softball game for persons with mental retardation of northern, northeastern Connecticut. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are. This is the mother load of x-rays here. I can't believe it. We have all... Oh my god, right in this giant bucket. In this giant... Oh my god. 
I mean, this one's sealed. Let's take a look at it though. It's hard to see it without light. Now we got some light in the background, we could see these bad boys. Looks like all the x-rays are just on the lungs. Pretty crazy all this is left behind. Let's see the date on this thing. 1971. This is the craziest one yet. Someone would just be sitting in here. Oh yeah. We found like what? Twenty of these. At least twenty restraints. Yeah, they're all just piled up in that corner. I think it would really restrain about twenty kids at a time. Definitely. That's crazy. That's literally the reason the place was shut down. Here we have a form that doctors would fill out, and it's basically um, reports of what the children would be doing. So, from zero to two months, following objects, three to five months, grasp reflexes, looks at hands, goes up to a year. Look, just keeps on going. Just different things of con cognitive uh, functions. Whoa, that's a really weird, uh, what is that, a gurney? It looks like it folds up, easy for storage. So we're here in this dark and grimy basement. It's been the result of a bunch of flooding, and we have just a complete graveyard of old 90s electronics. Just have piles of phones. I'm gonna go over here, we just see all the computers, look at that. Ooh. I don't know, it just looks crazy. Radiologic procedures. Wear a lead apron. That means only one thing. X-ray machine. And this is a, a dark room where they would go over the x-rays. So all those x-rays we saw got done in this, in this room. This is probably the x-ray room right here. No machines left though. Whoa. We just found a laboratory. This is crazy. This chemical is not waste. Do not discard. Well, I guess they listened. Got, got some machines in here too. The Coleman Specto Spectophotometer. I have no idea. At this point of the exploration, we're going to be heading into one of the last buildings we're going to be exploring. This was a natural history museum. I thought this was pretty cool. I believe this was a building for patients to come in and learn about nature and the environment, biology. I've never seen anything like this in an abandoned campus, but this was a pretty cool find.
Okay, now we're in a completely new building. It seems like this one was really just storage and it has a bunch of educational things in there. Once again, occupational therapy, teaching patients different things, keeping their mind off their illness and what stresses them out most. So we have some stuffed birds. In this room over here I saw, looks like somebody set up a bunch of birds. Super weird, got a giant swan. Over here, it looks like we have some shells, different type of ocean stuff. Marine biology stuff, just put in mason jars. Wow, so this entire, this entire room is just filled with seashells. And I could bet you a bunch of like teenage kids went berserk in here when they found this, considering how many are broken. Over here we found an old projector. It looks like maybe they were trying to sell it. Because there's a tag on it. Projector 16 millimeter model 477 optical magnetic recording. Really interesting. Perhaps some lenses right here rotting away. Here we have the entire library. We just got books on books on books, as well as some paintings. And a bunch of life magazines here. November 8th, 1954. That's really cool. All from 1954. This must have been just old catalogs that they'd give to read the patients here and just stored and stuffed in this room. Hey, we found a cooler projector only because it's red. Pretty cool. It says the year 1952 on it. It's an Ampro Super Stylist. So you could see where the film would sit right there. And it would spin it, and that would be the lens right there. Shoot it on the on the screen. Pretty cool. Once again, it has a tag on the bottom. So maybe they were trying to sell it. Maybe they're just putting it on display. Don't know, but cool. It's here. So I did enter one more building after this. It was the children's auditorium. They held many plays in here, shows to entertain the kids. Um, enormous venue. It might be close to a thousand, if not two thousand seats. I did take some photographs because it was too dark to film, but this will be the final viewing we have of this children's asylum. This was a great exploration. I loved walking through these historic walls and seeing these old restraints left behind, these old barbaric practices of mental health. And it's amazing to see the evolution of only 30 years as this place has been closed, the rest of the world moves forward and places like this will not exist forever. Demolition is coming close for this historic property. Sooner or later, this video will be the only evidence of these practices and facilities like this existing. If you guys did enjoy as much as I did, please leave a thumbs up, take you a second, subscribe, go to 500k. It's been a crazy journey. I thank everybody for your support and that's gonna do it. Have a good day. Stay curious. Peace out.